got a little stress pent up and you don't want to jerk take, off don't want to jerk off you've already done that eight <laughs> times in the day wow. or yeah uh you know you 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 don't need to be drinking much more. Yeah. You, you need something else. You need to relieve that stress some other way. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, you could go straight Limp biscuit and just break some glass. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want to play that game, bitch? Right. Do, 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 do. Or, uh, yep. Rape, rape her ass raw with a chainsaw. Yeah. <laughs> or you could go to downtown Little Rock's uh, newest entertainment venue mm-hmm. and throw axes oh yeah this is the thing have you now. seen this thing yeah they're popping up all over the they're building the one place. they're building one in benton how'd oh, they, really? how'd they get the them palace. to sign up yeah. for this uh what throwing axes like you're throwing your axes <laughs> axes Nick. oh okay that makes way more sense yeah go ahead yeah, wait it's just it's but so, less fun so for yeah, sure. yeah that's true for sure. Is that where you just go You and- bitch! <laughs> yeah. Eat! Correct me if I'm wrong. So you, you Come write- here, Cameron! So you write, down, you write down questions on paper and you throw them? <laughs> yeah. It's just a bunch of axes. <laughs> I'm confused. I- I'm just as confused as you guys. <laughs> Mark got it. <laughs> Here's the thing. You know, asks... <laughs> I think there's... Never mind. Come they, here, Cameron. So they just opened this past You've weekend. You've been a shitty grandson. I'm going to yeet this ass at you. <laughs> and I don't, Grandpa, no! I don't know if there's alcohol or not at this place, but I've always thought that that was a really good mix. Oh, yeah, let's do a couple Jaeger bombs and chunk some axes. Yeah. Every time I've thrown an axe, uh, I've been drunk. Hatchets and whatnot. I used to. I'm seriously. They, these are hatchets. They're not axes. Yeah. When I, I used to I, I live think at it's, this, uh, it's a little bit of a misnomer. Copy of Gary Paulson's most popular mm. book, Hatchet. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. I remember. Literature. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually uh, we're just throwing body spray at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I used to live at this. Uh, I you want to smell like a douchebag? <laughs> Come to throw an axes. Please, no more. <laughs> Cameron, stand in front. I'm, I'm going to throw this axe body spray. I want you to smell like a phoenix when I'm done. All right. Across the street, they're opening up uh, throwing bods. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. I want your bod. Those commercials were so fucking... Yeah. The the most remember w- electric shave? The yeah. Mo- yeah. Oh, yeah. Electric there's, shave. There's women yeah. standing in the middle of the street confused about which place they want to go. It just, bods or axe. Yeah. <laughs> Um, they I just all smell so sexy. Obviously, they're going to go to Axe because Cameron smells like chocolate. Listen up. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Cameron. <laughs> smell this chocolate body there, spray. There is a chocolate Axe. Yeah, I know. I eat. I did. I did live at this uh, this party house in my early 20s, and we found a hatchet outside. And we would get drunk and we'd throw it at the tree. And I, I'll i tell you, it is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. When you actually nail it, it's like, fuck yeah, I'm Paul Bunyan. It's, well, it, yeah, it, it is a course. great feeling. I, I saw a video online where at one of those places, those axe throwing bars, like some girl threw one and it bounced off and flew back towards her head. It almost hit her, yeah. She like Matrix style dodged it, but yeah. that looks super dangerous. That almost yeah. became interesting. Do you have to sign a waiver um, at this thing? You reckon? do. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. of course. If you get an axe in your head, it's your fault. <laughs> I think they do have beer there, by the way. I think they do. You got it if you're throwing axes. Yeah. You have to. When do you, when do you want to do that sober? You know what? It's been a long day. Just feel like chucking some axes. You feel know, like, it's like going to the batting cages. Yeah, I just need to go work in my swing. You know, yeah, right. some yeah. some awful family is going to bring their fucking kids to throw axes at this bar. Oh yeah, and they get oh, like angry yeah. that you're drunk and swearing. I wonder if there's an age limit. This is the perfect combination of home defense for me with my cross-eyed goat and then axe throwing. And your water someone, bottle. Oh, yeah. Someone breaks in. Yeah, your water and I've bottle got, with wood yeah, screws on yeah. it. And I've got Baphomet, and I've got a hatchet in my hand. Dude's <laughs> getting fucked up. Ram to the nuts, and then as he bends over to cup his balls, hatchet. <laughs> yeah. yep. There's actually a new yeah. bar opening downtown. It's a sake bar where you throw ninja stars. That would be cool. Yeah, I would do cool. that. Yeah. Yeah. I was in karate That's when I was young. Idea. I had a whole yeah. bunch of throwing stars, and I had Whoa, fun shuriken. Chucking, chucking them at the doghouse. <laughs> 
It was awesome. Check it out with a doghouse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the backyard. Yeah, yeah. We had we the didn't dogs ha- freaking out. He's like, "What the hell is going on out there?" Just blades coming through the side. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Roy, <laughs> Roy. <laughs> <laughs> I loved you. Yeah. Eat. <laughs> <It was, Yeah. laughs> Yeah, that was uh, that was good times. I shit, man. That's what they should do is diversify. You get some axes, you or some hatchets you can throw, mm-hmm. and some ninja I feel stars. Like hatchets are very western, shit, man. Ninja stars very eastern. Oh yeah, I have a little yeah. sushi a bar that yeah. has a little conveyor belt with the sushi, and there's also one that has different ninja stars you can throw. Yeah, all they serve there is either Bud Heavy or Sapporo, one or the <laughs> other. <you know>? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a there hell of go. a lot of fun. You know, it'd be fun as a hand grenade bar. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I I think that they have those. Oh yeah, I think it, yeah, yeah. I, I, you can go out to Texas and do just about anything these days. It's true. I'm sure Ted Nugent has an area where you can just chunk hand, hand yeah. grenades over the wall. Yeah, and he played. Yeah, and he plays Wang Dang Sweet Poon yeah. Bang. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ted, Nug- Ted Nugent plays shoot tourists on my land. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everybody hold off I gotta go out on the mortar range and drive the car and pick up all the used mortar shells <laughs> Ted Nugent is batshit crazy I'm though. telling you Ted Nugent not is going like, anywhere near there man. before I, I'm telling you before he dies he's gonna have like a weekend where he turns one of his ranches into like the island, island of Dr. Moreau or some shit and just like starts <laughs> hunting people and shit do you think do you think it's like syphilis that has finally gone to his brain or something you it has this to is, be right come to me little one have you ever feast it on human flesh. <laughs> That's look. I would not be surprised if Ted Nugent has eaten someone. I yeah. No, today I we either. hunt the most dangerous we, prey. You got to do something Man. with your cat scratch fever money. You know, <laughs> I mean, you're, you got to buy something. He's got all the machine guns now. He's got to spend it on something else. Yeah, he's got the he's got the territory. He's got the land. He's got yeah. the guns. He's got the wherewithal. He eats with a guitar in his hand, and every time he takes a bite, he plays. <laughs> I'ma eat this man. <laughs> um, he needs a guitar that's shaped like an AK-47. He's got. I'm sure one, he's right? got one. I'm sure, I'm sure he has a guitar. Isn't his big thing guitar. archery? Like he'd fire that bow and arrow on stage. Yeah. Uh, well, he's into hunting in general. Okay. He's got a he's got a uh, a TV show called Spirit Wild Ranch and uh, it's oh just God. him on hunting. NRA TV and uh, <laughs> it's on it's on Outdoor Channel or Sportsman Channel something basically like this basically the same but, thing yeah but um wait how but, do you know this because I used to watch Outdoor and Sportsman he's Channel he's all got, the he's time he's got cable yeah, yeah cable. Oh that's God. right caught him in another lie. <laughs> He has an episode though where he gets in a helicopter with uh with oh, fucking God. machine guns and guns down hogs. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. I wanna go throw Why? I wanna throw a stick of dynamite in a lake and see what happens. That'd be cool. Yeah. I'd do it. I've always wanted to do the rotary telephone <laughs> you... thing in a lake and kill a bunch of fish. Yeah. You ever, you ever yeah. see a block of sodium where they throw pure sodium yes. in the water yeah. and yeah. Sodium, fucking... like salt? Yes. Just... Sodium. Pure. Yeah. It pure. fucking explodes. NA. It's huge. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, sodium chloride won't do it, but sodium will. So it reacts with the water uh, somehow and just... Poof. That's cool. Yeah, There are a handful of elements that do that. that. You can just... If you get them in their pure form and drop them in water, they explode. One of them is oh. like mercury, right? I, like I, fuck uh, if I know. Well, I know. if you get it in retrograde... That's true. It's <laughs> you get and you just, then you, you just a, get a disaster <laughs> of a bad haircut. A heavy order of mercury and <laughs> <in> retrograde. <laughs> That'd be a cool name for a coffee shop. <laughs> Mercury yeah. and retrograde, <laughs> where you just have tapestries on the wall, and you, your coffees are really small. And yeah, I feel like that's the meteor. And they're I've never all fair been there, trade. But it sounds like a band that would open up for Fish. Mercury and retrograde <laughs> opening <laughs> for Fish. I'm sure it's a is. it's a seven hour long concert, and they each only play one set. It's all lesbians <laughs> <laughs> playing jam band music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love a little jam band music. <laughs> you 
don't like jam bands. Oh, jam, oh, jam bands suck. Oh, time. oh man, there is a time and place. Yeah. yeah, every now and then, once a year, I get into a jam when band done, kick, and I gotta, I just gotta hear some noodling, man. I've done. Uh, MDMA. <laughs> yeah, that's that's, that's when you want the EDM. <laughs> yeah. What do you got for us over there, Tyler? I see you thumbing through your computer. Well, you know what? Um, I realized that it's been a long time since we've had some um, some Bible lessons, oh, and I oh, thought no. Nick might want to hear this one. Okay. Yeah. I definitely want to hear it. I because like reliving my past. I, I think he's really going to like this one. This is Old Testament. Okay. Gotcha. Um, it's Elisha. So it's... it's Elisha. It's, Liked him in Lord of the Rings. Go it's ahead. not mm-hmm. the guy who called the bears down. It is the it's guy. It's the guy who called the bears yeah. down on the kids. Oh, good. So we're getting uh, crazy part two. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, so uh, I got to kind of give you the first part of the story real quick. Like um, a lady comes to him who's unable to have kids and he tells her that she's going to have a kid and she's like, stop yanking my chain. He's like, no, I'm serious. Go home. You're going to have a this time next year. You will have a hold of son in your arms. I, I would read your version of the Bible. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Bible time with Nick. What? You yank him a chain? Okay. Thank was you. that a record no scratch way. you did there? Yeah. Okay. It was terrible, but I, I got know. it. I can't do it. We're getting know. back into the hard, hard to do. Oh, that was good. There we go. How about, <laughs> no, that sounds like no, a that's monster. Your, that's your walk on the wild <laughs> side. <That> was, yeah. <laughs> Um, so <laughs> the fuck just happened. So she, went, <laughs> so she went home, got pregnant. Nice. Uh, <laughs> and then she had the kid. Then he grew up. And then one day the kids said to his father, Oh, my head, my, my head. And then he died. <laughs> and <laughs> there's a really roller coaster of a story. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. 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 Oh no, dad in my head. <laughs> So then, happens when I think too much. So then, the mother gets on her donkey and rides and goes and finds Elisha. Yeah, gotcha. because uh, he's on Mount Carmel. Did, did does it say it's that actually she's, Mount Caramel? She saddled her ass because that is a line in the not, Bible. It's some, it, not, somewhere. Not in this uh, um, translation. But. I remember in Sunday school they were talking about Abraham, and we were reading <laughs> out of the King James version, and the teacher was like, "And Abraham saddled his like, ass." Ah! And I died laughing. <laughs> okay, well, this is, let's see, verse 24. Hilarious. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and he said, Wherefore wilt thou go to him today? It is neither new moon nor Sabbath. And she said, It shall be well. Then she saddled an ass and said to her servant, <laughs> I knew it. Ah, <laughs> what a bird. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Drive and go forward. <laughs> Slack not riding me, except I bid thee. <laughs> Donkey's moving slow as shit. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, so she like goes. Like some medieval a, genuine lyrics. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she finds Elisha, and then and uh, he's like, "All right." She, then she, they're like, "No, you can't see him." He's like, "No, no, it's fine. She can come up here." And then she's like, what the hell? Like, you had me, I had a kid, Wait, and now where he's is dead. He? Like, what, he has a, a security guard? Yeah, it's he's like, on Mount Carmel, so he's got like, security. There's like bouncers? Yeah. It's a party. He's the man of mountain. God. It's he's the man world. of God. You, gotta, you can't have every Tom, Dick, and Harriet coming up there and bothering this guy. Okay. He's got business to do. Uh, it, was a, it was a big part. It was a black and white affair um, <laughs> up on uh, Mount it's Carmel. It's actually a ski lodge. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. What- <laughs> I'm kind of with him. I don't fully understand what he's just doing That's in the what, mountain. And why is there a okay. bouncer? Communing with he's, bears that have just killed 42 children. He, he's you just, guys did a good irrelevant. job. It's okay. irrelevant. Okay. So right. so anyway, she he's like, here, take my staff and um, go lay this staff on the boy's face and nice. he'll be better. <laughs> like a prank. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Draw a dick on his forehead. Blue mushroom. I'm Elisha. Welcome to Jackass. (laughs) Blue mushroom stamp your kid. (laughs) Just uh, drag my my sack across his face. And uh... And she, but but she's like, oh no. She's like, no no. I'm I'm as surely as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. So he got up and followed her, and they went out, and then uh, tea bagged the kid. Then. Um, they reached the house a couple of days later. Boys laying dead on the couch, and still, Elisha, they just left him there. Yeah, 
And so Elisha went in. That's called a concussion. My head hurts. And yeah. then he falls he asleep had, he probably and doesn't a, wake up. He probably had a com- was in a coma or he something. He Billy oh, mazed right. himself. Yeah. So uh, it's Elisha went in, shut the door on the two of them, and prayed to the Lord. Then he got on the bed and lay on the boy, mouth to mouth, eyes to eyes, what? hands to hands. As he stretched himself out on the boy, <laughs> the boy's body grew warm. <laughs> Elisha turned oh away. God. What is going on here? I walked back and forth in the room and then got yeah. on the bed and stretched out on him once more. Uh-huh. The boy sneezed seven <laughs> times and opened his eyes. Wait, into Elijah's <laughs> mouth? I mean, I guess. I just brought you back from the dead and you sneeze in my mouth, you fuck. <laughs> Go back to hell. <laughs> Anyway, that's the story of how Elisha brought a boy back from the dead. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. there's there's plenty nah, of... Uh, imagine if but, you're in a coma for weeks okay. and you sneeze, all the boogers that come out. <laughs> I'm going to try to summarize this. The death that comes out the of your... Death boogers. In the best possible <laughs> way that for I can. band, Death Booger. <laughs> we are Death Booger. No, We're imagine a if you're... grind band. Imagine if you're in a coma and then dun, you wake dun, up and some geezer's dun, giving dun. you mouth to mouth. <laughs> I was Some just geezer's gonna... laying his entire body on you. What the, now, if it's mouth to mouth, eye to eye, hand to hand, the other implication is crotch to crotch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't want you to have to be the one that, to say yeah. it, but... You awake yet? You you feel better? You back from the dead? <laughs> I feel I feel in a twinge down there. I don't think mm, you're done yet. You're getting yet. warmer, boy. Oh my w- once, <laughs> once wasn't enough. Let me do this again. Do it in my mouth seven <laughs> times. <laughs> now, listen, this is going to be weird. But I need you to sneeze into my mouth <laughs> seven times. I'll pay you one hundred dollars. <laughs> no, no, no. Just hang on to my hands. Sneeze. Hang on to my strong hand. My strong hand. Um. So, what do you think, Nick? I mean, it's it's uh, you know as batshit crazy as basically everything else in the Bible. <laughs> yeah, classic. I mean, you Bible. know what? You said something mid story that stuck with me. Yes. And you said it's largely irrelevant, which is the tagline for the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> it's largely irrelevant. You should do a review anybody, on Amazon. Anybody, anybody who lives their life by the Bible is just fucking delusional. Um, I mean, you know, it's just fucking stupidity. It, it really is. What is that story? I'm oh, Okay, I'll go ahead and summarize it for you. Nobody asked, but I'm going to do that. So some fucking broad wants to get pregnant. She does. Then she rides her donkey to some asshole on top of a mountain. Mm-hmm. Um, says, hey, uh, yeah, my kid had a headache. Uh, he's just basically in a deep sleep. Could you come over and, like, molest the shit out of him? <laughs> Came over. Some funny shit happened. And he's magically awake. You ought to go on Amazon and find a Bible for sale and review it as largely irrelevant. <laughs> it is, though. Does it Nick's review from, from Nick? L one star highly unlikely. <laughs> it's a waste of time. Deeply hey, it's improbable. Su- it's such a waste of time. People are fucking nuts, and they live their life by the Bible. It, like you see online comments. Well, what does it say in the Bible? And I just kind of want to con- like just type one of Tyler's stories. Like, well, it doesn't say anything about Obama, but what it does say is that some guy <laughs> went on top of. The- <laughs> Yeah, everyone glosses over the batshit crazy I stuff. Did, I didn't read the Bible, but I lived my life by it. Jason Rapper, Tom Cotton. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, what, what, what lesson is there to be learned about anything based on that last story? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't know. You can raise the dead if someone sneezes in your mouth? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> if know. someone's no, that's after you raise the dead. Oh, that yeah, okay. into That's how mouth. you know you raise the dead. Yeah. No, exactly. if someone's dead, you gotta lay on them. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna try that next time one of my patients dies. <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing, Tim? <laughs> they walk. <into> the <laughs> trying to revive them. Leave me Guys, alone. Guys, for, forget the CPR. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you haven't read the Bible. <laughs> Leave me alone. They were just about to sneeze. I could feel it. <laughs> And the doctor, you're, you're you're like, they did this in the Bible. And the doctor goes, Timothy, I already told you that Bible is largely irrelevant. Wait, why is the doctor mi- like Indian? <laughs> no, why would he not? He's be? he's Irish Indian. It's very, it's very, he's largely irrelevant. 
Uh, I don't. That no, was like a weird really, accent you did there. Doctors really speak like this, Tyler, because when I was back in Mumbai with my cousin Rashnish, who taught me how to be a doctor, and then I moved to the United States, and now I'm making so much money, I can afford to live in river apartments down by the river. <laughs> and the rock oh my God. God, you're so right because when I had my apartments down by the river, there was all kinds of Indian doctors living there. I know, I know. We call it Little Mumbai. <laughs> we dump dead things in the river. We throw our plastics right in there it doesn't matter that's <laughs> how we do it <laughs> man we have this weird <laughs> drinking fountain in my bathroom oh my god when i was <laughs> oh our my house god. Sm- everything smells funny it's great do when we it's just dip a ladle into this bowl full of water and you'll get clean water all day long <laughs> sometimes if you want to freshen the water you just pull this lever down <laughs> oh jeez uh, oh, I man. remember when I remember being uh, at college and uh, the second year, third year I was there, the they had um, a large group of uh, Chinese exchange students that came over and they lived along the, a row of apartments um, down. I can't remember the street. I want to say it was Woodruff or something. But when they all moved in, you could I, no shit. You could drive down that street. You could you could smell the food that they were cooking, which sometimes yeah, it smelled yeah. good. But the other thing is, they would hang food outside to dry. Yeah. Like so, Ooh. you could drive down and you just see right. you just see meat hanging outside. Hell like yeah. no yeah. shit. Like you know what? Uh, this reminds me of growing up in Lowell actually, because we had all the Cambodians that would like immigrated to Lowell, mm. and uh, every day I'd walk to school. I remember I was like six years old, and uh, there was this large house. It was like a three family house. But there were like 10 Cambodian families living in it. Yeah. And it just smelled like trash and fish. You'd walk by yeah, every day. Yeah, and yeah. You could smell it like three houses away. It was disgusting. Yeah. I, I don't know what that smell is, but it's probably a similar situation to what you experienced. A lot of, uh, a lot of seafood. You know, yeah. that's what it is. And they so. eat some weird shit. And it's true because remember we were watching Bizarre Foods? Yeah. And we saw one. Andrew Zimmern went to Lowell, Mass. Yeah. To eat some weird ass Cambodian food. Yeah. Honestly, I thought he was going to go into my mom's <laughs> fridge, to be honest, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it was all it was all like fish eyes and <laughs> and crack. No. Even Andrew Zimmerman can't eat schwans all day long. <laughs> Jim the Schwan man, man always never, delivers, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm never gonna fucking. He delivers me that. semen. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We, years ago, so one much of the, for so much for uh, entendre. <laughs> <laughs> Years ago, one of the second or third times I I ever hung out with Tim before I moved in with him, he uh, I was dating this girl and we were having a Christmas party and Tim comes over and uh, we'd been drinking and Tim was like, "Hey, I gotta pop this." Th-. He had a uh, USB drive and he's like, "I gotta show you this." They made a documentary about my hometown and I was like, "Oh, cool!" And like I I <laughs> I knew Tim but we hadn't hung out. <laughs> he's like. They made a documentary about my hometown. He pops this shit in. It's from HBO, and the title screen pops up, and it says, Hi on Crack Street, Lowell, Massachusetts. Yeah. <laughs> do you remember that shit, man? Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> yeah. was, uh, I, I remember, because I'd watch it and be like, Oh, yeah, I used to walk by that crack house on the way to school. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, in that documentary, that one dude who was friends with... Uh, uh, Dicky, uh, yeah, boo boo, yeah, he, boo-boo he just fuck it. He's on camera, and this motherfucker walks into a Kmart and just steals a whole set of golf clubs. Yeah. Just like he just walks, he just walks in and walks he out. Just walks out he's with like, a whole set of. I'm gonna get my crack racks. <laughs> he just steals a whole set. How much crack can you get for a set of golf clubs? Well, I mean, the golf clubs. Like, who three, knows how much they get? Bucks, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Because you're trading. You're trading something that's. Are you taking it to the pawn shop first, or are you trading straight? I don't know. Up? What are you I, doing? I don't, you might be trying. Why are you looking at me like I know? I didn't actually buy crack. I'm not asking you. I'm just. Uh, I'm, you I, know. I'm, I'm thinking what I would do is first I'd try to trade it straight up for some crack. How That'd many crack dealers let the are market, playing golf? Let the market decide. You know? Yeah, but they, they <laughs> only can, the classy ones. Maybe yeah. they got. <laughs> maybe they want to give it to someone for Christmas. Maybe they want to try to sell yep, it. Yep, I don't know. Yep. Yeah, they if throw that, it into the trunk of their 1977 Cadillac yeah. Eldorado. If, if that if that doesn't <laughs> work, I trade fair, crack, but crack. If, if, that does, <laughs> <laughs> if that doesn't work, you go to like a parking lot at the grocery store and try to sell it for cash. And if that doesn't work, uh, pawn it. Yeah. When I was moving here. Yeah. If you can wait that to long. To Little Rock. I got off the plane and we went to Flying Saucer. And I'm um, like, oh, yeah, I'm moving here for a job to like the waitress. And she goes, oh, really? Why? And I'm like, oh, for a job. She goes, haven't you seen High on Crack? Or what was it? Like banging Gang, in Little Rock? Banging, 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 banging in Little Rock. Yeah. She goes, I banging wouldn't in move the rock. here. 
She actually said she wouldn't move here. Oh. She lives here. She's a uh, yeah. She probably still lives here. <laughs> probably <laughs> advocate for the probably. City. Well, no, not a waitress at the saucer. They last a weekend. Yeah, but how are you going to take her opinion seriously if you're so fucking lazy that you d- you are uh, you are That's advocating you know. for people to not even move here, but you're too fucking lazy to move yourself? Like right. I'm not going to take She's your a, opinion a, seriously. A, a real ambassador for Little Rock. Yeah, yeah. you just. I gotta, have had I've had some I've heard of people like seriously bashing Little Rock, and we all live here, so we're all you know and been here for a while. We yeah. know what it, they're. That there's some good stuff, decent stuff to offer, and it's like, what are you mm-hmm. talking about? Like, they're like, no, it sucks. Don't, tell tell people not to move here. I'm like, actually, tell people to move here. It's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's cheap as shit. There's everything that you it's want to do. Pretty is cool. here. This- you want to throw axes? They got the axe throwing thing right downtown. Okay, what what more do you really need? How they- many goddamn microbreweries do we have now? Uh, uh, I mean, shit. We got plenty. A, yeah, we got they- tons of stuff, and we're what- gonna have more, I'm sure, soon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One of uh, one of Andrea's family members is buying a house. <clears throat> And she's buying a house in Florida, not even a, oh, wow. a main city of Florida. And her fucking mortgage is going to be twenty four hundred dollars a month. Jesus, <laughs> what's she buying? A yeah, mansion? Yeah, that's got to be no. like a <laughs> no four thousand square foot, <laughs> three bedroom, two bath. Jesus, like a basic ass house. Yeah. Did you tell wow. her that in Little Rock she could she could literally get a million dollar home we to- well i told her i'm like oh you know my mortgage is like basically slightly above my rent that i was renting in Maumel. right and she goes really what was and i told her and she i guess we ended the conversation and she was texting Andrea, and she, I guess she had a panic attack. She goes, am I buying a house that's too expensive? <laughs> I should have just lived in art, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Like, well, yes, yeah, if you yes, think yes, about it, Jesus Christ. As much as, think about it this way. I'll, as much money as she was going to spend on her mortgage... She could spend. She could. She could buy the same size house outside of Little Rock, where actually it'd probably be more expensive outside. Of, I don't know. It just depends. But either way, she goes. You could spend yeah. less. But then you could take that money that you were going to spend on your mortgage and fucking fly to Florida every goddamn yeah, weekend. You know, yeah, yeah, every yes, weekend. Yes, Hold on. This is what. Yes, I, yeah, so I go like this, good. and I'm like, well, uh, I'm, I was asking. I was asking Andrea. I'm like, well, what? What was what were there? What was the rent? You mm-hmm. know, she goes, it was a hundred dollars cheaper than the mortgage. Oh so my god! For a two bedroom, What's the two, two bedroom like, apartment. You said it's like nowhere, Florida, too. Like it's not, not even- it's not nowhere, Florida. It's like in between two two cities. You, you give us a little mm. bit more. Uh, I think it was. It's in between Fort Lauderdale and Miami. Um, no, not no? Miami. That's they're like. Two, no. I think. Uh, fuck, I'm gonna get it wrong. But I, maybe see. Boca. I don't know. Oh well, the, it, oh, during God. in that stretch Palm of it, Beach, that's a, West Palm Beach, something like that. <clears throat> that's stretch, not quite though. though. Not well, quite if you're though. buying a coastal house, though, you're gonna not I mean, not coastal, for not it. anywhere close to the ocean. Inland the, Florida, yeah. Why would you do that? Just move to Arkansas. Why would you, yeah, why would you do that? You're just if you move to inland Florida, then you're just dealing with gators. Every once in a while, it's good to hear that the grass is not always greener somebody else, somewhere else. Hey, look, which I usually this, amounts to being cheaper somebody else. I say this yeah. all the time because I, you know, being in sales, I talk the to people. The grass is pretty cheap in Arkansas. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's pretty green too. Being in sales, I talk to people and vendors who, you know, are working across the country and, you know, they'll, uh, a lot of times they're like, so uh, what's it like in Arkansas? And I'm like, yeah, I'm not even from here originally. And so then it kind of piques their interest a little more than, well, why did you stay in Arkansas? I'm like, because it's fucking awesome. I'm like, to be honest with you, I truly believe that this is, this is like a hidden gem in the in the United States. It just gets shit yeah. on all the time yeah. because of because of historically I get where it's coming from uh, where people are coming from, but I don't feel like it is I don't feel like it's it, it's like that anymore. No. I mean, there are definitely areas, but shit, I mean, there's areas everywhere. Really, exactly. You're exactly. more likely That's to get you're say, more likely yeah. to get killed in Chicago than you are any anywhere in our right. like 50 right. period. 50 people got shot this weekend yeah. or something or like that. Or Washington DC, yeah. Washington DC. That's even right. worse, yeah. Well, incredible crime rate. That's what, you know, Washington DC, that's why they changed the fucking name of the basketball team. It used to be the Washington Bullets that's and right. the murder rate was so high wow, so they changed seriously? it to the wa- yes. yes. I well, didn't know that. Yes. yes. I yeah. was after a train, I think, but uh yeah, they they were like, nah, this isn't really good." Yeah, like a train crash or something. A bullet train. A oh. bullet train, yeah. yeah. Nice. But now, now it's uh the Wizards. The Wizards, yeah. 
They changed the and name. And we don't even have bullet trains shit. anymore, so what's the point? Why? Yeah. No one even knows what a bullet train is. Kids are like, Daddy, what's a bullet train? I remember. Too bad. <laughs> He's like, so sorry, got to like, uh, buy a car, bitch. Now, yeah. <laughs> that that oh, reminds me of that. Get in the F-350 and shut up. I remember Adam What's Carolla that? was like, uh, I'm gonna roll he, he wanted smoke. to ask the, uh, the the L.A. Clippers, like quiz him and see how many L.A. Clippers actually know what a clipper is. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Nick, do you know what a clipper is? It's a ship, isn't yeah, it? It's yeah. A ship. yeah, you know that. Okay. But uh, I don't know. I, I feel like it's kind of like the bullets. Like, yeah, people would think it's like a, from a gun, but it's not. The, the best thing is the L.A. Lakers is oh, from the yeah. land of a thousand lakes. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Minnesota. Minnesota. <laughs> they, they, now they're in a place they with no water. Them. L.A. is like <laughs> a year from having no water whatsoever. Yeah. 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 That's hey, like, the um, L.A. deserts. That, that enjoy movie. your enjoy your uh, high fucking cost of living. That yeah. movie, uh, Basketball, did a whole thing at the very beginning where they talked about that. And they're like, <laughs> yeah. and the, the New Orleans jazz moved to Utah where, where they music don't isn't a music. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Man, I used to fall asleep to that. That was a every good movie. fucking night. Yeah, that was a a great movie. I gotta rewatch that soon. That one I haven't watched. Grandma's Boy in a long time. Oh, loved yeah. that movie. Another good, good one. Classics. What you got lined up over there, Tyler? Well, speaking of dildos, <laughs> <laughs> was there something of dildos? that I found? Yeah. <laughs> Um, there's uh, things got pretty intense. Exciting news coming out of uh, coming from across the pond. Things got pretty intense over this uh, Victorian era dildo in <laughs> Ireland <laughs> in recent weeks. It's like the Victorian oldest, era. It's one of the oldest dildos in existence. They had it? to have a historian look at that and carefully analyze it and, and go sniff it. This is <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This smells like old pussy. <laughs> Um, it, it's 100. Mm, this smells like the Great Depression. 130 Marie Antoinette year old, used to jack off with this. 130 year old ivory Whoa. dildo. Yeah, it's amazing. It, they need to put a quarter next to that or something so I can see some perspective. Yeah. I like how it's got it looks the, enormous. Uh, I don't know what that connector is at the end. It looks like something that would go on like a steampunk no, outfit. No, it's a uh, it's yeah, a, right. It's a charger. <laughs> it's a <laughs> Let me see that thing again. Oh, oh yeah, it is a charger. Terrence McKenna. That's uh that's right up his alley. Oh, Lost man, civilizations. That is weird. Oh, Look at the head on that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty legit. Yeah. I like the velvet case. Well, what happened was somebody had to make that. Man, guys in the Victorian era were hung. This was sent from an Irish. That's what I'm saying. You need a quarter next to it or something. Yeah, it I could know. be small. Oh yeah. I don't true. think you so. just can't tell. It's sent from an Irish soldier fighting in China to his wife in Ireland as a gift. Nice. So he it's got it in gift. China. Um, oh, and she then, gagged on it. And then it was sold. <laughs> it was sold in 2015. An, an elephant had to die to make a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's why I think it's sure. big because elephants. I mean, even small elephants are pretty. You know, those tusks. Dearest Mary, as I'm out here in the Orient, I came across <laughs> came across a medicine man who can do this. I hope you enjoy the gift. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Use Imagine, this until I get... Think of me every time you use this. I can understand piano keys. At least they're making art with that. You know, yeah, music. yeah, yeah. This is going to yeah. get jammed in your snatch. See, this is this is proof <laughs> This is proof that uh, China is way ahead of the U.S. They've been, they, yeah. were, they were doing oh, yeah. things... They were doing uh, crazy things long before we were. That puppy's going on the end of a steam engine. Yeah. It's, it's starting off. <laughs> it's that's actually... What a, that, that's what that ball at the end is. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, but, that's where you attach the lever to, yeah. to, to the, stick the yeah. pump. <laughs> Uh, so in, in 2017, yeah. it sold. What was that thing that, that for? In 2017, it sold for four thousand six hundred ninety-five dollars. Oh, I feel oh, like wow. it'd be more expensive than that. And oh, wow. to a collector in the U.S., a collector, <laughs> and then Rod someone Jeremy. found out about it, and they're like, "We didn't, you know, there are some Irish people, and so they they raised money like <laughs> some crowd Irish funded. people. Some crowd, guys joined they didn't the Boy want Scouts. To leave the country. They wanted it to some stay. Some guys buy baseball cards. So some guys collect Victorian era dildos <laughs> yeah. from the Orient. <laughs> It's a weird niche, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of this, a thing. This is the chick who saved it, the Irish chick who. I was bet able she to... did. Oh, okay, yeah. Nice. Look at that smile. Yep. Yeah. They're very something happy. In the, yeah. Something in those that, eyes. That Some people are looking for a pot of gold out <laughs> at the end of the rainbow. I just want a big ivory dildo. <laughs> that was pretty good. Does one of those yeah. teeth oh, look a little chipped you. to you? Does, it, does ivory chip? She must have tried to bite that thing. <laughs> yeah. Easy. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. That's, uh, well, that's amazing. 
four a wow. four thousand. I I would think that it would cost more though. I would have thought so too. You know, some yeah. of the oldest scotch. I mean, you're talking about something that was handcrafted. They didn't have machinery back then. <laughs> handcrafted by oh, by yeah. uh, by some Chinese sorcerer. Years ago, what do, you, yeah. what, what do you think they used for work, lube? It's a work of art, that's for sure. For lube, back in the day, I mean, the, the Irish have been era. doing crazy things with potatoes. So no, who knows? Well, whale, you know? whale, whale oil, starch. for sure. Mash pota- mashed potatoes. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, yeah, I Irish know. cream. Yeah, yeah, that's what. <laughs> yeah, whiskey, Irish whiskey, whiskey. cream. Just the, pour a little Bailey's on it. Irish cream, the original double entendre. <laughs> oh. There you go. Yeah, I like that story a lot. Thanks for That's that, a good, guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what news source did that come from, by the way? I want to know who's <laughs> reporting on that. Oh, this is the CBC, Canadian yeah. Broadcasting oh. Company. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. I follow them for all my dildo news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for all my dildo-related an, news. Yeah, you just go to their <laughs> website, www.cbc.com slash dildo news. <laughs> Frank, <laughs> frankly, it's the only politics I can handle. <laughs> <laughs> It's completely nonpartisan and uh, <laughs> dildo politics. <laughs> Rubber versus hard substance. <laughs> no, I'll let you fill in what's liberal and what's conservative. Yeah, you. Got, I'm thinking you, the hard substance conservative. The rubber's more liberal because it has true. a little give to it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this would be a great YouTube video. <laughs> All right. I was just thinking of more. Yeah, never mind. All right. We. Uh, yeah, we did it. Um. All right. Well, thanks so much for listening, screen? folks. I, I was just thinking. I was like, "Is the light got getting it. weird?" No, no. I've got a uh, I've got a blue light blocker on my uh, computer. We're so talking about. Uh, I thought Vic- I was having a stroke. No, it's because no. we're talking about Victorian era, so everything's in sepia now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, thanks so much for listening, folks. If you haven't rated us, go rate us and all that good shit. And we'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye.